الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد The Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام said in a hadith that we all know بإذن الله تعالى قال صلى الله عليه وسلم إنما أعمال بالنيات Verily actions are tied to the intentions وإنما لكل مريا مناوة And everyone will get that for which he intended Here the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام let us know that our deeds and especially what we're talking about we're referring to Islamic deeds meaning good deeds that it should be done with a purpose and the purpose should be to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if we can keep that in front of us reminding ourselves in order to get the blessing the reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then we'll have success and that means every act of worship is based on ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that lets us know that from the shartan, or from the shurut, or shartan, of having our deeds accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is first that we have sincerity to Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, wa ma'akha, qala subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa ma'umiru illa liya'abudullaha, mukhlisina lahu deen. And they were not commanded except to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone with sincerity. Letting us know, Habitifillah, that sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what Allah commanded the early nations to do. That all the nations before us, from their prophets, on the tongues of their prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wasalam, were called to do deeds for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to direct all their worship to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. The second condition of having our deeds accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that they are done, those actions that we do, those acts of worship that we do, they come from evidence from the book and the sunnah that they come. From mutabat, mutabat al Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that they come from, from following the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That when we do those actions, those acts of worship, that are ibadah, that it's in accordance with the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It's in accordance with Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, how he did the acts of worship. So our prayer, our sacrifice, whatever we do as an act of worship, it has to come from the book in the sunnah. It has to be how the Prophet ﷺ did it if we want it accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if meaning that acceptance by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is what? That's success. That's success. The Prophet ﷺ said, Man fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu furad. Whoever does something in this affair of ours, uh, whoever innovates, sorry, whoever innovates something in this affair of ours will have it rejected. Letting us know that religious innovation will be rejected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not accepted. So, the opposite of that means that in order to have it, al-mafhum mukhalifa, if you will, the, what we can infer from that is the opposite, meaning that that which is in accordance with the son of the Prophet وسلم, and his religion والسلام, will be accepted. If that which is an innovation will be rejected, that which is in accordance with his sunnah is accepted. So that means the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, those are your two conditions for having your deeds accepted by Allah Azza wa Jal. Alhamdulillah, we can't underestimate that. And may Allah bless us with tawfiq 
ikhlas with a battle of sunnah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam